Hey guys, it's your girl, Crystal Nicole. So let's go ahead and take this back almost two years ago, okay? So in December 2021, Sean Holly and Tori had a preliminary hearing, which is when we first heard about all the police corruption, Kelsey and Megan fighting, and Kelsey being the shooter. This was the defense that they brought to that hearing in the exact same defense that they used at trial. Now, November 21st, 2022, one month before trial began, let me say that again, one month before trial began and just two months after Kelsey finally did that interview with prosecutors, Sean Holly wrote this email to Tori claiming that she did not feel comfortable going forward with the Kelsey defense. And even if Quan and Tori provided great testimony, she still wasn't sure she would be comfortable, but she never goes into detail about why she wasn't comfortable. She just throws everything onto George and tells him to think about it. One month before trial began. One month. Yet and still, Sean Holly stays on as Tory's attorney. Although not representing him at trial, she claimed that she would still be helping him with the August Alcina incident and she was expecting a good outcome there, just like at trial, if trial had had a good outcome. We will come back to August Alcina. Now, after Kelsey's 80 minute interview was played, Sean Holly fully withdrew as Tory's attorney and sent him an email about why she was doing it, explaining that Kelsey accusing her of bribery, plus the other accusations of her leaking information to blogs, talking about that DNA leak to DJ academics who claimed that he got that from Rock Nation, not Sean Holly. She felt these things were a conflict of interest and she should withdraw. So let's talk about that. So here's the problem with Sean Holly's excuse. First of all, she was aware of the Kelsey accusations before trial, yet she didn't step down as Tory's attorney. When they were played for the court, George could have said that Sean Holly wasn't even hired by Tory until October 2020, after he was officially charged. And Kelsey had claimed that these bribery attempts had happened the very next day after the incident, which was in July when she met with Tori to get her things. So why would Tori use Sean Holly as the person who told him to bribe Kelsey when he hadn't even consulted her yet? Furthermore, Kelsey herself <laughs> took the stand and said that Tori never bribed her or gave her any money in any and all claims made by Megan and her team claiming so were lies and she wasn't happy about it. On top of that, the judge made it clear that Kelsey's interview was not evidence since she was taking it back on the stand. So anything she said in it was to not be considered. So why was Sean Holly all up in arms over false bribery claims that she could prove wasn't true just based on the timing of when Tori actually consulted her? <sighs> Seems like Sean Holly was more concerned about her image than concerned about proving her client's innocence, but I know. Alex Sparrow claimed to be leading an investigation into bribery attempts from Tori and Kelsey to make her change her story. But let's talk about that. <laughs> I thought Tori had been bribing Kelsey and Megan before a trial through texts and phone calls. Sources from Megan's team claimed this multiple times publicly, but they never produced not one, not even at trial. Kelsey also claimed that Tori had bribed her through text, but also could not seem to produce a text of these bribes. So we are saying that Tori bribed Kelsey to come in and speak to prosecutors two months before trial and say he did it. And then he bribed her again to come in and take back what she told them and say he didn't do it. That's a lot of bribes happening. That's not making any sense. <laughs> Have there been any bribery charges pressed against Tori after two years in a trial? No. And they only cared about pressing these charges after Kelsey changed her story. Not before. And didn't Megan accuse Tori of bribery too? So why didn't they press those charges when they pressed the assault charge? No proof of it? Anyway. Now let's talk about the judge and Megan Cunif because I want to point out something. When these emails came up during the new trial hearing... The judge made a comment that Tory might not want what was in these emails to be seen as if it would paint him in a bad light versus Sean Holly. Then when the emails do become public, what's the first thing that's done? 
Megan Kuhn comes out with an article making it seem like Tori's attorney also didn't think using Kelsey as a defense would work because she wasn't guilty. And she further pushes this narrative by claiming that the reason Sean didn't want to use Kelsey as a defense was based on evidence coming out, showing Kelsey was just a protector of Megan that night and not the shooter. Like saying that the 911 text that came out from Kelsey was one of them, except this text popped up in September, and Sean wrote nothing about this text being a reason she wasn't comfortable with the Kelsey defense. Did she make it? Sean could have just asked them to explain that time difference on that text, and that would have been the end of that nonsense, because we never got a response to that question. 727 to 427. Any takers? Okay. Second, the police video of Kelsey crying, asking Megan, was she okay? <laughs> While failing to mention the other police video that has Tori also asking Megan, is she okay? And saying that he was just trying to protect his girl that night. W what happened to that part, Megan? You forgot? The police video have been available for some time now, by the way. So that wasn't new. And it was brought up by Sean Holly at that same preliminary hearing. The recorded phone call, the jail call, had been also spoken about at that preliminary hearing in 2021. Remember, Megan? That's when Tori jumped up yelling at the detective to tell him what he was apologizing for since they were just making up what he was apologizing for instead of just saying what he said he was apologizing for. Yeah. <laughs> so none of those pieces of evidence was why Sean wasn't comfortable because she argued most of them <laughs> way before trial even happened to be bothered by it. The only thing new that came out was Kelsey accusing Sean of bribery. And would you look at that? That's the only thing in them emails that shows why she was uncomfortable, which again was a bullshit reason. So, Megan followed up behind the judge in his already belled warning about those emails and spun this narrative to confirm what the judge already put out. But the judge, the DA, Megan Cuniff, and all the other players aren't in cahoots, right? The judge isn't biased right hmm nothing in these emails make Tori look bad they make Sean look bad and that's what his attorneys was trying to prove when they put this in here and sealed it due to attorney client privilege which Tori waived so that we could see them do y'all honestly think that Tori and his attorneys would put something in their motion that would hurt their client while trying to get a new trial did the judge also believe that Sean was actually saying Kelsey didn't do it or something when he made this statement? Or did he think we would be shocked to hear about August Alcina and Kelsey attempting civil claims for alleged assault Tor Tory made against them? Now, it's, it's new to me that August is trying a civil case. I never heard anything about that. And from these emails, it looks like they were planning on Tory winning that one as well as the trial. <laughs> A civil case does not mean that the accusations are true, and mediation does not mean that Tory is trying to just do a settlement, and a settlement does not always mean money. All of that still has to be proven, and until we see a video of this altercation August alleged happened, it's he say, he say, and that's between them two. As far as Kelsey goes... Notice how Kelsey apparently had a civil lawyer to come after Tori for allegedly assaulting her that night. Did Tori pay for this attorney too? Because that's the narrative, right? Tori paid for Kelsey's attorney. Apparently, he paid for Kelsey to put him away because that's all she attempted to do this entire time up until trial. Or get his money for assaulting her, according to these emails. <laughs> Never pressed any charges for it, though. Isn't that interesting? I wish Kelsey would have pressed those charges so Tori could bring up her diss track to Megan denying that her chain was snatched that night just to turn around two years later and remember it being snatched by Tori now. Or he could just subpoena Megan's friend Jay Ailey who claimed that Kelsey had lied about Tori beating her ass that night. Or how about just using Megan's statement to detectives herself claiming that Tori never did anything to Kelsey that night. The most that any of them did that night according to Megan was bump into each other. There were no fights that went down. <laughs> so what in these emails should Tori not want out exactly? Judge, horse fans, what is it? Nothing I heard in these emails made him look bad. 
It just called out a weak ass paid off attorney who used a bullshit reason she could approve wasn't true to back out as his attorney during the middle of trial after waiting a month before a trial to tell him she didn't want to use a defense she'd been relying on for over a year before a trial and gave no other options for a defense outside of Kelsey. She'd have to run me my money back because baby, <laughs> Sean, you ain't shit boo. I've seen attorneys get jealous when other attorneys are adding on to a case that they started and then all of a sudden start requesting more fees than the original set price and then they start slowing down on the work they were doing for you and then claiming there's conflict. <laughs> this isn't new to me. It just shows your true colors and I hope people think twice before hiring you in the future because spineless and gutless does not make a good attorney. <laughs> Retire. I'd be happy with that. Now, Megan Kunis, you also spun the same lie being flung around the internet about Tori saying Megan was lying about being shot because he questioned her story about the bullets not hitting any bones or tendons. So pay attention, Megan. Like, pay real close attention. Bullets never entered Megan's feet, like she told us <clears throat> when she did that live that Tori was questioning her about. She said... There were bullets in her feet, but they had managed to miss her bones and tendons. And most people know that if she had actually gotten shot with bullets, bones and tendons would have been hit. Like on the back of her ankle where she claimed she was shot. You see the location of that wound? It's basically her Achilles. And we all know why that area got that name, right? Achilles. If not, go look up why we call it an Achilles heel. This bitch wouldn't have been able to tiptoe to a police car backwards without falling down if a bullet had torn through that area. So she wasn't actually shot with bullets. She was hit with shrapnel, which she clearly knew the difference about since she said they pulled bullets out her one foot and only fragments out the other. Fragments may come from bullets, but they are not the same thing. So where was the lie since she really actually wasn't shot? Because one centimeter fragments are not bullets being pulled out her feet, hun. So she is the one who lied about that and he had a right to question it and he wasn't the only one during that time. You want to update your article or not? Nah? Furthermore, you tried to accuse Sean of lying about why she wasn't representing Tori at trial. Didn't Sean have an actual arbitration that she attended? Was she still not representing Tori even during trial and only stepped down in the middle of trial? Her emails of a disagreement about not using Kelsey and then still using Kelsey while helping George with that defense makes why she wasn't representing him at trial due to the Kelsey defense being used doesn't hold water. If it was such an issue, why didn't she stop representing him until the middle of trial when her name came up about bribery? See the problem here? And this is what I have a problem with. You and the others like you, y'all do a good job of reporting the information, but you all fail on leaving your bias out and reporting all the the facts and not just the ones that support how you feel about this case you even admit that sean didn't even give a reason for her pause on kelsey so you just trumped one up to make it look like the evidence was proving kelsey didn't do it which there was none by the way is why sean didn't want to proceed when she never said that at all so why are you was it not enough to just go with what was written down And that's where we will end this video because I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired of the absolute nonsense that keeps happening throughout this entire situation that everybody wants to keep on being blindsided to ignoring and acting like isn't really happening. So at this point, you know, I'm just going to let idiots be idiots, let people believe what they want to believe at the end of the day until one of you can actually give me some concrete evidence that proved that Tori did this. I really don't give a fuck about what any of you have to say about a jury finding him guilty, etc. Like, I don't care. Justice is supposed to be about the truth. And if we are now convicting people based on a whole bunch of lies and using lies as evidence to convict people, we are in a very backwards state. 
And that's what we should really be more concerned about. But hey, what do I know? So with that being said, I want to thank all of those who tuned into this video. I want to send a special shout out to all of those who stayed around until the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh yeah, free Tori.